So, let us take another look on the pink mesh, the one with the shared edge. Ensure, that smooth shading is enabled in object mode, and also check the tool tip. It already gives us a first indication, we now have to take care of vertex normals. So then let's switch to edit mode, and enable the display of vertex normals in the view properties sidebar. The option is available in the mesh display tab. You find it left to the face normals icon. In Blender, vertex normals are displayed in dark blue. A vertex normal is a three-dimensional vector, very similar to face normals. But as already indicated by the name, vertex normals are associated to vertices, and there is exactly one vertex normal for each vertex. Right now the four vertex normals of the mesh point into the same direction as the face normals. But this changes as soon as I rotate one of the triangles. Now look at the vertex normals of the two vertices on the shared edge, they rotate differently than the third vertex normal at the tip of the triangle. For example, let's rotate the face by 90 degrees. We see that the vertex normals on the shared edge get only rotated by half of this while the vertex normal at the tip of the triangle, is rotated by the same amount as the corresponding face normal. Actually all vertex normals are calculated in the same way, by averaging the rotations of all associated face normals. Let's look at the vertex normals on the shared edge, here the vertices are shared by both faces, and thus the average face rotation gets associated to the vertex normals. So we now have one face normal rotated by 90 degrees, and the other face normal still in its initial position. Hence the average rotation angle of the two face normals is 0 plus 90, divided by 2, thus 45 degrees. And now it is also clear why the vertex normals of the two vertices at the left and at the bottom, point in the same direction as the associated face normals. That is simply because these vertices are associated only to one face, so in this case the vertex normals and the face normals are equal. Let us now take a closer look at the light distribution over the face. In top view, we can see that the left corner is rendered a bit lighter compared to the other two corners. And when we go to side view, then we see the bottom corner is rendered to black. This is so, because in smooth shading the light intensity is calculated from the vertex normals. That is, at the left corner the vertex normal is parallel to the light ray. Thus, it is rendered bright. At the middle corners, the vertex normal and the light ray have an angle of 45 degrees, hence, the light is rendered less bright. And the vertex normal of the lower corner is perpendicular to the light ray. So, this corner renders black. And finally, the light intensity for all other surface points on the face, is linearly interpolated from the intensity on the face corners. Thus we see a smooth change of the light over the surface. Well this is what smooth shading actually does. So let us summarize what we have learned by now. Flat shading, takes only the face normals into account and it renders the entire face in the same intensity. The brightness only depends on the angle between the light rays and the face normals. An angle of zero degrees renders to full bright. While an angle of 90 degrees renders to black. Smooth shading, takes the vertex normals into account, and interpolates the light intensity over the surface depending on how the vertex normals are oriented. For Blender, the vertex normals of non-shared vertices point in the same direction as their associated face normals. While the vertex normals of the shared vertices get averaged over all associated face normals. So, after we have learned the principles of smooth shading, we now can also understand why the green object obviously does not care about the shading settings. Can we? So, let's take a look at its vertex normals. Well, on first sight this looks identical to what we saw on the other object. But hold on, remember the faces are separated? Each vertex is associated to exactly one single face, 
and we have duplicate vertices along the matching edges. And furthermore, we know that vertices which belong only to one face, inherit the orientation of their face normal. So, for this object each vertex normal inherits its rotation from the associated face normal, regardless how the face is actually oriented in space. And therefore, our green object is always rendered as if flat shading were enabled. So, the matching edges effectively break smooth shading, because the vertex normals differ for the vertices along the edges. But we can weld the two separate meshes into one single mesh by removing the duplicate vertices along the sharing edge. Then the vertex normals along the edges get averaged like we just have seen, and we get smooth shading. But hold on, how does that apply to our character? Well, the easy method is to join the parts into one single mesh, and then weld the boundary edges in edit mode. So, you first select the vertices at the part boundary, and then you remove doubles. This effectively welds the normals at the seams. But it also makes one continuous mesh, where we had two separated meshes before. But wait! What about just welding the normals and keep the meshes separated? Can that be done as well? So, when we remember how vertex normals are used for interpolating the light intensity over the surface, then it should become very obvious, yes, welding the vertex normals should give us a smooth surface as well. Now let us turn back to our initial example, the second life avatar. So this character is made of three parts, and by now we strongly suspect, that its vertex normals must have been welded at the matching edges. Because we see smooth shading here, so, can we do that as well for our own meshes? Well, Pure Blender calculates the vertex normals automatically, and it does not allow to modify vertex normals directly. But, there is good news for you. We have added such a welding option to Avastar. This option automatically fixes the boundary vertex normals by welding them just in the way as needed. Thus you now can simply export your multi-part character, and be sure that the vertex normals at the seams are corrected as needed. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching.